Cancer. My name is Crystal. I'm doing a reading for you guys. Um, I'm just going to see what pops up for you guys. Um, yeah, we'll just go with what we get. Um, I'm going to take all that. Um, just remember it's a general reading, so take whatever resonates for you, and if it doesn't resonate, just leave that for somebody else, okay? You have the Chariot, the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Swords. I feel like you have to make a decision about some type of movement, right? Some type of bold decision that you have to make. I feel like it's not going to be so easy, okay? I feel like this is going to be a tough decision for you to be able to make. This is like where you have to bring all your strength and your courage together to be able to make this decision about moving on from something or someone um, or whatever it was that's not serving you anymore, okay? Your challenges, let's see your challenges. Challenges on the Hierophant, okay? So you might not be listening to other people's advice or you might not be um, listening to your intuition, okay? I feel like maybe you're going to other people to ask for some type of help, but maybe you're not really doing anything about it. Or you're trying to see, your challenge is trying to find somebody that you can help. Um, that can no, help. Trying to find somebody that can help you in some type of way. So seeking some type of... Um, information from somebody um you got the eight of cups and then the chariot too i do feel like you're walking away from something this could be from a job from a person that you love like family members friends um lovers okay um relationships so i feel like you're walking away and leaving something behind you're definitely walking away from something or you might just be emotionally detaching yourself from somebody but the eight of cups is just walking away leaving everything that you ever worked for basically and just you know going in this dark path towards these mountains. He has no clue what's going to come up for him, you know what I mean? But he doesn't care. He's still pushing forward. Um, I feel like in your past, you know, there was a lot of healing that needed to take place. There was, um, you know, the star. You could also have been dealing with the Aquarius, um, a Cancer. You are a Cancer. Aquarius, Cancer, Leo, the Empress. I feel like this is Libra. So you can be dealing with any of one of those signs. Um, the Empress is just talking about, you know what I mean, um, for your future. You will be happy. You will be comfortable. You will have the things that you want. I feel like once you make this decision with this Two of Swords, something, uh -huh, something that you're conflicted about. Thank you. Shut the door. So whatever that you're conflicted about, I feel like once you make this decision, you're going to be fine. It's going to lead you to where you need to be. But you also may be pregnant, but this can also just be saying um, with the Empress because she's pregnant. Um, this can just be saying that you're going to finally be able to um, find your comfortability. You got the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Cups. When I was shuffling before I even did the video, the first card that popped out was the Nine of Cups. Um, I was going to keep it out, but I said, let me just see if it pops out. Um, so that's your wish being granted. Um, I don't know if you're trying to get away from somebody or if you're feeling like somebody is being sneaky around you, right? Or lying or betraying or something but somebody around you isn't doing good okay with the seven of swords somebody is hiding something but whatever that you are trying to leave behind it might be you trying to leave behind these sneaky um ingenuine people right and going towards what you want you got the eight of cups and the nine of cups you are walking away towards your wishes you are walking away towards your goals you're walking away towards something better um, this could be a new love offer coming in for you or a new type of offer of something that you're really going to be happy about. So it could be like a new job that you really wanted, a new career, something like this. So just an offer of love from somebody that you really wanted. The Ace of Wands tells me new doors are going to be opening up for you. New starts, new inspirations, new sparks of interest, new ideas um, are going to be um, birthing for you in the future. We got actions and advice. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles and the... <laughs> Yeah, they're not, okay. Six of Pentacles and the Ten of um, Wands. So, the actions and advice is don't give to people who doesn't give back to you, okay? And the Ten of Wands is like, allow this thing to end. Put those burdens down, okay? The Ten of Wands is like, he's carrying all these wands, right? All these are burdens. All these are extra responsibilities, extra things on his shoulders that he doesn't even have to carry, but he still does, you know what I mean? Because he knows he's so close, he's almost there. So, the Ten of Wands is basically a new beginning as well. Um, let's see the outcome. The Knight of Cups, the Tower, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so you might be hurt in this situation, like left wounded, or just leaving some type of situation that has left you feeling wounded, or like defeated, or just like alone, right? You're a wounded warrior. But I feel like 
the outcome with the tower being here is, is kind of a good thing because you're leaving something behind towards something better. You see how he's like guarded away from the tower? Like he's going towards something better. After this change happens, he's going to be divinely guided. Basically, the angels are going to be with you, helping, guiding you in towards like a better future or towards something better than what you were going through in the beginning. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. So this is just saying don't allow your thoughts um, and all these extra um, stress and worries to just take over in your life, okay? So this is just saying don't allow that stress to keep on taking over you. Once you leave, leave it behind, okay? Don't take that with you. I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you guys. Break and trail. So a breakthrough is, is at hand. This means that, you know, you just got to keep on pushing and doing the work that needs to be done. You're almost there. You are finding a breakthrough. You are getting through things, okay? The, the breakthrough at, um, at hand means, like, whatever you're doing is working, okay? And things are going to ease up for you. Um, you have answering the call. The time is now. I do feel like you're feeling like that, too, with especially with, um, but you're just having a hard time kind of um, trying to figure out which way to go about it, okay? But just know that, you know, <clears throat> the universe will help you pull you in the right direction. And then you have grounding. Go deep and explore your roots. So I feel like this is just saying take a deep look within yourself and really find out what it is that you're being called to do right now. What are you being called to do? Like, where is it? Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to, um... What are you trying to make better or what are you trying to take away, you know what I mean? There's always some give and take in life and sometimes we need to get rid of some things in order to make more space for something bigger and better to come in. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing. I feel like whatever you're going through is not a very easy situation. But I feel like as long as you trust within the universe and trust yourself and know that you are on the right track. And don't doubt yourself either. But once you, you know, just kind of... Tell the universe what you want, release it, and let them bring it to you. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure you have to, you still have to do some type of work, but it's like, you know, don't allow this to stress you out. Don't allow those worries and stress to keep on, like, bringing you down. So, that's what I got for you guys. I hope this helps, and have a good day. Toodles.